Marshall Pruitt, we have Brent O'Neill, team owner of Performance Tech, the 2017 IMSA PC champion, stepping up to prototype this year. So going into qualifying, Brent, I'm sure many folks are looking at all those DPIs saying, boy, they're going to blank at the top 10. Everybody with the customer P2s like your Eureka, these guys are going to be bottom half of the field. How do you like being a spoiler your first prototype qualifying session with this kid Pato Award driving the wheels off the number 38? Yeah, I have to tell you, it's, uh, <clears throat> it was pretty gratifying uh, qualifying. You know, we, uh, we've worked pretty hard. We've had to car for 30 days. Uh, the first time we turned the wheel with it was uh, at the Roar. And uh, we didn't even get a chance to go shake it down. Orca did a shake down on the car for us over at Paul Ricard, put it on a plane, shipped it over to us. Uh, you know, and we just, we went to work. And, uh, you know, I put our, our young kids t together for the, for the Roar. We only came here with three guys. And, uh, you know, we were looking at data yesterday and we were working on race trim and where we're gonna be for the race. And, you know, we really never tried hard. Mm. And, uh, you know, we looked at some of the splits and where we were at. We thought we could be in the top five. And Pato came to me and said, hey, can I qualify? Mm. And, you know, I said, sure, why not? Just, you know, you're gonna go do some Indy Light stuff this year. Let's uh, let everybody in sports car know who you are. And uh, I will tell you, when he called me on the radio and said, with five minutes left, he said, do I have time to let the tires cool down? And I said, uh, yeah, you'll get two laps. Do one lap. And uh, then he went out there and wrung the thing's neck for a lap and a half. And it was pretty impressive to see uh, the kid go a 36-3. <laughs> I mean, the pole's a 36-0 with the Cadillac, defending champion. Uh, that's pretty amazing. Yeah, it, it really was pretty amazing. The car, I will say that, you know, Orca has really been uh, a big help. They promised me that we were behind coming in, that they would help us, and they have done nothing but bend over to help us make sure the car was competitive. And, and I, I think that yesterday it shocked a lot of people in this pattern, mm. you know. Uh, Core has had their car for a while. JDC has a year under their belt. And uh, we've had 30 days to learn the car. So let me ask one last question of you, Brent. So I've been asking this of a number of team owners. You invested to step up to prototype. Uh, you've had some great support. The, the Masson family is here. You've got Central Spine that's come on board as a sponsor. I mean, if I'm looking at what I imagine you were hoping for, sponsors, driver interest, commercial interest to help support this step up, it looks like everything's working in the right direction for you. Well, it is. You know, we had a good year last year. Things were, you know, really good for us last year. I mean, uh, Dr. Masson is now racing with us in the MPC. His yeah. son has moved up from PC into the, you know, P2 class. Uh, He's put me in contact with some of the people that he does business with. Uh, we put some programs together with Sentinel Spine, uh, Stand Up MRI, uh, you know, and all of the people that have supported us along the way. You know, I mean, uh, even some of my guys that race with us in the IMSA Lights nice. Nice. series. You know, uh, you see Cardio Access is on our car, AIG, and those two guys race with us in MPC. And they help support us, you know. Uh, we have a guy that used to race with us in MPC, Danny Mancini from Rickman Construction. And he's, you know, he's on the car. And he's a big supporter of ours. And what happens is it just, it's, it, it just, you try to keep growing. And this is a big step for us. I mean, it's a huge investment. Yeah. And, uh, you know, you try to bring on some more partners and, Sentinel Spine is a huge uh, help to us this this week, and you know we're trying now with uh, the owners to make it a long-term program with them. One of your IMSA success stories, starting on the second row for their debut and prototype. We don't know. Uh, hopefully, we'll be talking to Brent towards the end of the race here with another uh, a cool close to how things have started off, but. 
If you're a fan of sports cars, a fan of the WeatherTech Championship, it's a pretty awesome thing to see the PC champ step up and uh, let everyone know there's no learning curve you're waiting on. You're getting it done right now. So, Brent O'Neill, congratulations. Thank you very much, Marshall.